Hello and welcome to Bob's Just Crafts. Today um, we will be making Artemis, which is basically another um, kitty cat. And this is Luna. They're from Sailor Moon. And I made Luna a little while ago, so I decided my second one is going to be her, her man, and that's Artemis. So uh, follow along supplies that we are going to need today would be a three millimeter crochet hook um, a needle in order to do some sewing i personally use chibi i like chibi some placement markers or scraps of yarn work just fine we will need, if, if you prefer, um, pins just to hold the ears in place and the head in place when you're trying to sew everything together. We'll also need, and this is your option, you don't have to make the same cat I do, you can choose any colors you want. But for the eyes, um, white, um, Artemis has blue eyes, so instead of the red, we're going to use blue. For the little moon, we're going to use yellow. And then for the ears, we're going to use pink. Other items that you might need are scissors, obviously. Uh, your pattern, which I uh, highly suggest to go and download this um, or print it out. <clears throat> this pattern is protected by Creative Commons. You can sell the finished doll or even alter the pattern, but please give the pattern credits to Toskinos, and that link will be in the bottom of this video. So if you haven't printed the pattern or you don't have it, go to the bottom of the video and you'll be able to get this pattern. Other supplies are is going to be Karen Simply Soft Yarn, and that is uh, number four. Uh, color is just white. <laughs> okay, so that's that. And last but never least, polyfill. You're going to need to stuff your, your kitty cat. Now, for my altered cat, I put a washer in the end of the tail so that I would be able to curl it as I wanted to or straighten it or what whatever I wanted to do because I thought it would be cute if her and Artemis's tails were kind of linked together. So that's what I'm going to do with mine. So that's an added little thing that's not going to be on your pattern. Okay, we'll start with the head and let's see what we have here. So we are going to make a little hole so that we can start our six chains. And this is not a magic ring, this is adjustable by the actual yarn. <clears throat> okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Okay, now, number two, working around the chains. Okay, and chain we have, let's see, okay, so we're going to SC in the first chain, one, two, Three, four, five, do our increase, six, Seven. Then we are going to do four SCs. Let's 
one. And then one SC in the last chain where you made the first SC of the round. Okay, so we have this little oval shape here. And uh, don't worry about the little holes. Those, if you have to, you can always just take your chibi and some white yarn and bring them a little closer, but I don't think that that's going to be a problem. Okay, so we should have 12 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We are good. Okay, so for number 3, we're just going to do one SC and an increase all the way around. So, one, and this is where I like to use my, my stitch marker so I know where I left off. And then an increase. On SC. And increase. And another increase. Okay. Let's see. Increase. On SC. Increase. On SC. Looks like we have one more here. And one SC. Okay, at this point we should have 18 stitches around. So we're just going to count those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. I got 19. So let's see what we did wrong. Okay, um, it's probably that very last stitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take out that increase and I will... Uh, there we go. I'm just going to put that one. That should be 18 stitches here. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. There we go. We are golden. Okay, now for number 4 on the directions. So we have done... I always like to check off where I am so that if I have to stop in the middle of a pattern, I know where I left off. Now we are on two SCs and an increase. So, one, two, and increase. One, two, 
here. Increase. One, two, and oops, and increase one. And yes, this is an increase. So you're just going to keep doing that all the way around until the end and you should end up with 24 stitches. Okay, we finished round five and now we are working on rows four through ten. And this is where I just put aside my little stitch marker and I grab my yarn and set it in there and that way I know exactly how many and I already set them out. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. And then all we have to do for this round is SC around. That's it. So you're just going to single crochet all the way around. And once you go around the first time, this will be round four. Then you'll add in this one for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we have just finished rounds four through ten. We have all of our rows going. Now we are on 11, and a row 11 is going to be uh, three single crochets and um, two single crochets together. So 
I have one, two, three, and then this is the decrease basically. You're going to go through the front loop. And let me just uh, zoom in here. You'll go through the front loop of the stitch, like so. Go through the front loop of the next stitch, like so. Grab your yarn, bring it through, and do your single crochet. Let's try that again. One, two, and three single crochets. And then we'll go through the front loop of one stitch, the front loop of the next stitch, grab our yarn, bring it through, and do our normal single crochet. Basically, it's a decrease. It's just worded differently. So you'll do that all the way around until you come back to the beginning, and um, I'll meet you back for row 12. After the end of this round, you should have 20. Okay, round 12 is just like the round 11, except for this time you have two single crochets. One, and two, and then you do your decrease. So you're going to do two single crochets and a decrease all the way around. Go through one, two, bring your yarn through, just like before. And there's your decrease. So you're going to do two single crochets and a decrease all the way around till you get to the beginning. And I will meet you there. For round 12, you should have ended up with 18 stitches. We are now on round 13, which is one single crochet and then your decrease. So basically, you are going to do a regular single crochet and then you are going to go through the front stitch of once and the front stitch of the next one. Bring your yarn through and then do your single crochet. Let me show you that one more time. Single crochet and then go through the front of the first stitch, front of the second stitch, Bring your yarn through and then work it just like a regular single crochet. So you will do that all the way around and that will leave you with 12 stitches. I'll meet you back here for... Okay, we have just finished off round 13 and before we start 14, I'm just going to take my hook out and my stitch marker I am going to place in my loose side. Before this hole gets too small, I want to start filling it with my polyfill or fiber fill or yarn scraps, whatever you happen to be filling yours with. That's what you want to fill it with. So we're just going to work our filling into the hole. getting there. Maybe just need a little bit more. And let's compare heads here. Well, that looks about the same. Okay, now that we have our, our head stuffed, for the most part, we can always add a little bit after this round, we're going to continue on. So, assuming that you have 12 stitches around, we are on 14. We've just finished 
uh, stuffing, our amigurumi, and basically this one says to decrease all the way around. So that's what we'll do. One, two, and there is one. decrease six okay at this point we're just going to cut off a nice size tail so that we have something to sew the head onto the body through, leaving it like so. Grab our chibi, thread our yarn, there we go, and through each one of these little things, these little edges, and I'll try and zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. Through each one of these little loops, you're going to want to go from front to the inside through all of them. Okay, and then just pull it tight to kind of finish that area off. And you'll see that hole close up real nice. I usually will take my, my needle and go through, go through the middle, and then through one more time, just to kind of anchor that in place. And we already know that our ears, our ears are going to go. Oh, 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 if I can, maybe I need to zoom out. There we go. We already know that our ears are going to go approximately here and here on the head. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring that yarn up to that area because what I'm going to do is use that yarn tail later to sew on the ears. Okay, and we'll just set this aside and I'll meet you back here for ears. Alrighty then, we are working on ears now. So for the ears, you're going to make a magic ring. So that means hold your yarn in, the, in your three fingers like so. Wrap it around your pointer finger twice, back over the front once, back over your finger and there's your magic ring. You'll know because as soon as you pull the tail the ring will either get bigger or smaller. Okay, so we are going to do four stitches in the magic ring. The first one never counts. So we have one two, three, four. 
far. Okay, now we're going to close our magic ring and what I always do is I tie that together because I don't want it to come loose. I like that hole to be nice and small. Just make sure you have enough leeway on your hook to continue on. Okay. And for the next step, we are just going to increase all the way around. And basically that just means, and as you see, I'm kind of holding this right here um, because I want the tail to get weaved in. So we have one, two, Next stitch, three, four, next stitch, five, six, And seven and eight. Okay, so we just did step one and step two. Now for step three, we are just going to single crochet all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll go into that first stitch. Oh, the joys of being a tight crocheter. Okay, there we go. I think I got it through. So that's let's try that one again. Well, there we go. One, two, three. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, so we're done with step three. Step four is one SC and an increase. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going to turn this the other way. There we go. Make life a little easier. Let's 
see. And then increase. Let's use my little stitch marker. So there's two stitches in that one. One. And then increase. And at this point, we should have 12 stitches. So let's just count and make sure. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Beautiful. Moving on to step number 5, we are just going to single crochet all the way around. and 12. Okay. And for number six, we have two SCs and an increase. So it's two single crochets and an increase. And we'll just do that all the way around. So that's one, two, One. Two. Increase. Last one, our increase now. We are done with one ear. So what you're going to do is make a second ear and then meet me back here when you're done. You're not going to stuff it at this point. But what I am going to do is cut a nice long tail and pull my yarn through. And then what I'm going to do is come up from under the next stitch and pull that yarn under so that when I go to sew, that's hidden. Okay, so go ahead and make a second one and I'll meet you back here shortly. Okay, we are now done with the ears. I am skipping, um, let's see, I am skipping this section here which says in pink because that's a crocheted part of the um, front of the ears and I I just prefer the felt look better so we're going to skip that part and we are moving on to the legs and the body ok 
Okay, we are now working on legs and body. So, first is to start with the magic ring. So, yarn in your hand, wrap it around your finger twice, back over front, back over front again, pull, and it is magic ring. Okay, first one never counts. We have SC6. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Squeeze that together, and we'll make our we'll make our knot. Okay. And let's see, that was step number one. And then it says uh, to increase all the way around. So we're going from six to 12 stitches. And then I'll meet you back here. Okay, now that we did that, we have 12 stitches around. We are going to just single crochet all the way around. Um, and then we'll move this we have now completed step three. So for step four, let me just turn this around. Okay, for step four, we are going to do two single crochets and an increase. So there's one, two, Increase one, two, and increase one, two. and increase okay so we now have completed step four now this is where you want to be really careful you should have 16 stitches and you want to make sure you have 16 at this point this is not like crocheting an amigurumi ball this is going to be a little bit more complicated. So let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 14, 16, 18. Okay, I'm going to fix this and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, we now have 16 stitches and we are on rows 5 through 12 to SC all the way around. So. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. There we go. So now we'll just take out our stitch marker. We'll insert a little piece of yarn because it makes it so much easier just to keep track of your rows and you can go and you don't need to count or worry about moving the stitch marker. So we will just go around, single crochet, 
for rows 5 through 12. Okay, here we go, guys. We are now done with rows 5 through 12. Now, if you haven't yet, stop the video, and you're going to want to make sure that you have two legs, one that you finished and one that your yarn is still attached to. Okay? So, here's the fun part, and this took me a, a little a little bit to get used to. I had to do this two or three times before I actually got it right. Okay, so we are going to put our hook through the middle of this one and that one. Let's see here. I did mine this way actually. Okay, let's get that around here. Okay, do not finish off the second leg. We will join the two legs so with the loop from the last leg in the hook we will continue making SC all the way beginning in the eighth stitch from the first leg. We will end up with 32 stitches. Well, 16 and 16 is 32, so this is your join right here. So we just pull that yarn, and this is not a fun thing to have to do. Okay, there we go, we got it. Okay. So, we'll go into the next one over. Okay, so we have our SC right here. Now all we're going to do is we are going to single crochet around each individual leg. And if you're keeping track, we, were, we are on one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, okay, 16, 17, to take the tail from my previous leg and weave it in so it's nice and tight.
that's 30. Okay, so now we start all over again. Okay, just gotta see where we are. Yeah, it takes a little time to get used to. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30, 31, 32. So we are going to go into this first one. Just try to figure out which which stitch. So this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the easy part, we're just going to keep going around and around and around. So that was what would be considered row 13. And just because it's too hard to work with, uh, I don't like that in there. So that would have been 13. Now we are on row 14, which is real easy because uh, 13 to 29, we are basically just going around and around and around and making sure that we have 32 stitches. So I will let you go ahead and do that, and then we will meet back here once we get done with row 29. Okie dokie, have a good one. Okay, and we're back. Let's see here. We have just finished 17 rounds of, uh, of single crochet, and here's all my little, my little markers here. Now we are moving on. It says to stuff lightly. We want it to be soft and loose. And let's see, I mean, mine's pretty, pretty soft. Okay, so we'll grab our stuffing. This out of the way. Okay. And grab a stitch marker. We'll put that sucker right in there so we don't lose our spot. I'm going to take these out. And I just make sure that when you do use the yarn, don't use black on white or white on black or dark blue on white because it leaves little fuzzies behind and it's a pain to try and get them out. So, let's stuff.
And after you have stuffed, we will move on. Uh, next step will basically be to find the middle, which uh, for me is right here. And I'm about three stitches off. And as you can tell as you go around the rows, you're, it kind of goes up on a, on a diagonal slant. So you want to find the middle. And for me, the easiest way is to just take my, my ruler and that's how I found my spot. So after you're done stuffing, find your middle and uh, we will move on. Okay, now going back to our instructions. I've only made a couple of these, so I don't have them memorized by now. I probably should. So after we've stuffed lightly, we are going to work the legs separately. So if we don't start the round in the middle of the body, we make some SC until we get there. In her case, she just had to make two to get the center. We will work in the 16 stitches from our right. So we start in the 17th stitch and we make 16 SC. Okay. So we're going to start in the, so we're just going to make a couple of a couple of SC's until, so that's one. Hey, look, two. Worked out pretty darn good. And then, we're going to, I just want to make sure that where I am is the middle of the body. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and she said we start in the seventeen. Okay, so bring that through. Next one, we will single crochet. Next one. Okay, and we're just going to work this leg all the way down, and then we'll work this leg all the way up and then to the point. That's pretty much what we're doing. So you just connect right directly in the middle. Make sure you have 16 or even stitches, hopefully 16 on each side. And you'll work the leg all the way down. So for this, 30, row 31 to 36, we are going to be just a sing all the way around this one little circle. Okay, for six rows. Okay, so we've done our six rounds up, and we're kind of getting to that point we need to add some stuffing. So, let's go ahead and put our little stitch marker there. And this is just one leg so far, so got a little, little tiny ways to go on this, but you're almost there. Okay, so we put a little bit more stuffing in it, and I'm going to leave that extra stuffing here just so that we can use that as we need it. Now, <clears throat> uh, row 37, or round 37, two SCs and then two SC together, which basically means a decrease. So... one and we should have 16 stitches 
around. If, if you missed one or you're off, just add one in. I don't think it'll make that big of a difference. But if you're a lot off, then yeah, you're going to have to unravel something and come back. Okay, so we've got, oops, that was a decrease, sorry. Okay, so we have one, two, and then we're going to do our decrease, which is in the front loop of the next stitch. And the one right after that. And then we will just pull it through, and there you go. One, two, and decrease. decrease. Okay, now we should have 12 stitches. So, just do a quick check. One, two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Good. Okay. Add in maybe a little bit more stuffing. Okay. Now, 38, we are going to decrease all the way around. That makes it easy. So we have one decrease. Two decreases, or two, one more decrease. And okay, there's the third decrease. Fourth decrease. Fifth decrease, and six decrease. Okay, and that leaves us with uh, that leaves us with six stitches. So what we are going to do, nice long tail. Okay, we're going to bring our, our yarn through. Take out our stitch marker. Grab our chibi. Okay. Finish this leg off and start the next leg. Okay, so this is where we 
This is where we started. And then we're just going to go up through each of those little, just the outside loop, not the whole thing. Just like we did. I think it was a different video, actually. So we basically go through the front loop on each of these, so six times. Okay, let's take our stitch marker out. And close that sucker up. And then we're just going to anchor it down by going around a couple of times. Okay, that seems to be pretty secure. Beautiful. So then we'll just we'll just weave this in. We'll just weave it in the leg here, weave it in the body. This is just going to secure everything. Okay, just check the bottom, see if you need to make those holes just a little smaller. While you're doing this, you might as well. I think that's that's good. Now we're just gonna push that down just a little bit. Be careful with not pulling it because then you'll start to get the bunching. Okay, now we will start the other leg. Now we are working on the tail. It tells us to start with a magic ring with six stitches. So we'll go ahead and start with making our magic ring. And Okay, so first one doesn't count. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, close our magic ring. 
as I usually do. I make my knot just to secure it. Make sure I have enough leeway on my needle. There we go. Okay, now <laughs> the fun part. All we are going to do literally from rows 2 all the way to 15 is single crochet around. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is where we are starting. I don't put in the yarn scraps at this time just because it will become so narrow. Um, pretty much uh, the size of double the pipe cleaner. <clears throat> so that's why I'm not using my yarn scraps. It just it becomes so narrow you can barely you can barely hold on to it and see your stitches, let alone crochet. At least for me, but you know, I'm, I've graduated bifocals now, so. <laughs> okay. We're almost done with round two. And we're going to turn this correct way. It always likes to go inside out. I don't know why. Something about amigurumi. It just always loves to go inside out. Okay, so that is row two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and 15 and what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to mark off the two that way I know where I left off and you can just count six around but chances are if I get started on something somebody's going to call or my dogs go uh, go out or some, something so I have to keep track of things as I'm going These things always come out so cute, but sometimes these little pieces are so hard to work on. There we go. Okay, that's three. And you'll just do that all the way around until you get to the 15th time, and I'll meet you back here and we'll start putting. Okay, we've reached the uh, home stretch here. I took my washer and I folded it in thirds. And I'm just twisting it now. Uh, there we go. Okay. I'm just going to cut off uh, a bit of the yarn there, set that aside, and pull 
that through. Okay, and we'll take the tail and bring it to the inside, like so. Okay, now we'll put in our In our washer, which pretty much fills up that entire space. But let's add just a little bit of stuffing if we can. Usually I, I do stuff a little bit in there. And this will just get stuffed kind of down the side. sure it has some some dimensionality and depth and that kind of is filled. Just gotta kind of push it on each side of the the washer. I've tried to stuff it first and then put in the washer, but that definitely does not work because um, yeah, that washer just gets stuck on everything. And just make sure that nothing's coming out of the end there. Feels like it's pretty, pretty well stuffed. A little bit more for the top. And as I'm doing this video, the Jigglypuff video is burning and still has about 11 hours left, so. That's why this video is going to end up being much shorter and I didn't do a complete walkthrough on every single step just because it takes forever and a day to just rip video and that doesn't include the making of it or anything that's just sitting and waiting for video to finish uploading. Okay, so our tail is done. I got a little or a straggler there. Let's snip that off. Okay. So we have our body. We have our head. We have our ears. Okay. Let's get all the rest of this stuff out of the way. Okay. And achoo, excuse me. I need my chibi. And let's see here, which way do we want this? The front legs are supposed to be shorter, I believe. You know, these ones look longer. So... I don't think it really, really severely matters. But what we're going to want to do is basically um, place our head and everything where we want it and sew it on. That's, that's where we are. So what you'll do is you will
stick your head on the body where you want it and this design it pretty much goes almost even maybe one row back from the from the front And you will go down through one of the bottom stitches, and the needle through, and bring it up through. One of the top stitches. stitch and back down through the bottom and this is just how I have found that my work looks better when I sew it so now we'll go across one stitch and up through the next stitch over one and down through the next one down and over and you're just going to basically repeat this for all pieces until you get them all sewed on exactly where you want them and don't forget when you do do the ears you will want to add some of your stuffing to the ear before you put it on so it's it's not going to be completely flat it have a little bit of dimensionality but you don't want to overfill it so it looks like a cone because um, then you know it just won't look right there should definitely be some give to it so I'm going to finish sewing on my head my tail and each of my ears and I will meet you back here and we will do the finishing touches okay so we went ahead sewed everything on and now I have pre-cut my um, felt and I have placed it the best I can and placed to where I think I would want it and uh, now we're going to start hot gluing. So we're basically just going to hot glue all these little things in place. The ears, the eyes, the moon. I even have the little white for the top of the eye. So we'll do that and I'll show you. Okay, so here is the finished product. We have Artemis and Luna. Um, and I went ahead and finished the glue gun and the felt. So this is, this is what we came up with. I really hope that all of you Sailor Moon fans out there enjoy this tutorial. I've had a lot of requests for Sailor Moon animals and wands and all kinds of fun stuff. So I figured that at least this one is a shared pattern. It is going to be under Creative Commons license. And just for an added touch, those um, little pipe cleaners did really well in having a... Uh, Artemis and Luna be able to combine their tails so when they sit side by side their tails are linked together. Okay well I hope you enjoyed and craft on.